The only time it has not worked for me is when I wanted something really, 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 really bad. Like that's when things don't manifest. I did this for like not even five minutes. I'm not kidding you guys. Next day I get a text message. So. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do an exciting little chit chat with you guys on something that we all do when we're in the manifestation community the law of assumption community and this is something that came to me last night and i wanted to share it because i feel like it's really really powerful also please excuse my nasally voice i'm currently recovering from a cold so if i sound a bit nasally and congested that's why if you are new here welcome to the channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell right next to it so you get notified whenever you post whenever i post a new video let me know in the comments down below where you are watching from i love to know where you guys are from and let's jump right into this video Okay, so when it comes to the law of assumption and creating your best life and manifesting, I feel like personally for me, I always like to read books about it, fill my mind with it, research it. But the thing is, when you are doing that, you're not actually practicing. You're not actually practicing the law of assumption and, I'm, and you're not actually doing, you're just like, there comes a point where your knowledge is you have the knowledge you have the knowledge you know how it works so why do you keep watching videos or reading books to try to find some new technique like have you ever noticed like there's always new like we're always trying to find new techniques to like manifest faster and manifest better and those things are great i'm not saying they're not like i love to find out new manifesting techniques, new law of assumption techniques. You know, I'm a nerd with this. Whenever I clean, I like to listen to audiobooks. I like to read in my free time. So I definitely research this, but I'm also researching because I'm bringing out these videos for you guys. And I always like to find out, you know, new techniques. I'm always testing things with the law of assumption. And sometimes it's quite funny, but the thing is, what came to me yesterday is when you're using your time to watch these videos on the law of assumption you're not actually practicing the law of assumption why don't you use the time that you are watching these videos unless you're completely new to it if you know how the law of assumption works why are you using your time to listen to videos and trying to find a new technique like that's a distraction because you could actually use that time to practice the law of assumption so you know for example if you like to listen to these things while you're cleaning your house while you're driving in your car while you're cooking um you know th there's like a fine balance between consuming the content and refreshing your mind daily with that type of content because i do feel like if we don't reflect refresh or refresh our spirit daily with this it can kind of go in the like back burner and i remember even neville goddard in one of his books neville goddard the teacher of the law of assumption the teacher of you know imagination creates reality which is really what it is he admitted at one point that he forgot to use the law of assumption he had an um, issue in his life and for a few days he was trying to find solutions in the material world right the natural man tries to find solutions in the material world until he realizes i can actually use the law of assumption for this i can actually fall asleep with assuming that my wish is fulfilled or assuming that i already have what i want that this um whatever this issue is whatever the thing it is that you're dealing with you know you he he noticed that he actually forgot to apply the law of assumption so never got it the teacher of this even has his you know moments where we forget so that's why i always say it's important to refresh your spirit and your mind daily with um this knowledge 
But let's say like you had your five minutes or ten minutes of law of assumption dose per day, like of, of like content that you consume or books that you read. After that, stop watching, stop researching for new techniques, stop researching the 369 techniques, stop researching scripting techniques, stop it all and actually apply it. We can become so focused on consuming this knowledge that we forget to do it. So drop everything. If that's been you, drop everything right now. And I want you to, whatever it is that you desire, pick one thing right now. Don't try to do everything at once. Prioritize, use the most urgent and the most important matters that this could be a situation that you'd like to resolve, a conflict that you'd like to resolve, something that you would like to materialize in your reality. Uh, it could be an object, it could be something that you desire, but it, you know, it can also be used for conflicts and issues at work and things like that uh, or relationships and calling in love it has worked so well for me in the past few weeks that you know it's it's a it's a mental diet it's concentrating your spirit and your mind it's literally a concentration exercise and if you guys want me to do a video on mental diet let me know down below um because the more I practices the more i notice how fast we get distracted especially these days i mean we get we get distracted so many times on social media i try to limit my time that i'm on social media because i tend to notice that on the days where i'm not too much on social media i'm very very focused I am very focused and I'm not distracted by things that are pulling me in a hundred different directions. And the more you practice this, the more you become an expert with this, the more you will notice that actually what you need to do is have a very potent concentration span, which in these days, people are having shorter and shorter and shorter attention spans, especially TikTok generation gen z generation like their attention span just gets shorter and shorter and shorter right so with the law of attraction you actually want to focus every second of the day of already being which it is that you want to be who it is you want to become what it is that you want to have be that now so if you're always consuming con like consuming the content will not give you your desire what will give you your desire is actually practicing so and i'm going to show you how you can do that so a rule that I want to give you is for, for every minute of theory that you consume, do five minutes of practice, okay? Just try to do more practice than you are consuming. So when you are cleaning, it's, a, it's really a concentration exercise and it's not that hard. So here's how you do it. You for, First of all, you get yourself in a state of joy because that's how you manifest the fastest at a state of love you can start breathing from your heart actually right now you can close your eyes and start breathing deeply and start breathing from your heart center because that your heart center is 5,000 times stronger than your brain you don't manifest things with your brain you manifest them through your being through your heart and through your emotions and through being what through your imagination but kind of like how do I put it like projecting it out into your reality from the heart if that makes sense if it doesn't make sense it's fine just try to focus your attention on your heart center then get rid of the illusion that it needs to take a lot of time for you to manifest because it doesn't it literally does not obviously it depends on the situation right like a parking spot is gonna materialize a lot faster than a billion dollars for example right so you got to keep that in mind but also ditch the, the the belief that it needs to take a lot of time for you to manifest things can manifest in seconds like that if your name is jesus you can transform water into wine you can multiply the fish like like that and that's literally what he came here to teach us he said greater things than i did you can do so if we take that the way he meant it that means that we can do that and we can do even greater things if we 
focus our mind on concentrating these abilities. The thing is, these are cognitive abilities everybody can develop. The thing is, we've been dumbed down for eons and eons and eons, and this is not taught in school because this is really what is what personal empowerment is about. We create our own reality. We're not victims of our circumstances. No matter how convincing your story is, no matter how um, convincing it sounds, and I'm giving you tough love on this because I have been there as well, and this is actually what this is the truth. You are not a victim of your circumstances. You can take back control of your life and you can create anything that you desire to create. But you have to know that. And once you know that, once you have that confidence, that's why I like to my put my students and my clients, we start with smaller exercises where they can literally like manifest. Like even on my channel here, if you go to my scripting video and other videos, we do these exercises where literally just look at the comments People manifest in minutes. So why do I do that? I do that to build up your confidence for you to know that manifestation taking weeks and months is a hoax. It's not true. I experiment with the law of assumption so much, even with things I don't really desire, just just to test it, you know? And I did that and Literally, I don't want to reveal too much about my private life, but I practiced the law of assumption one night and it wasn't specifically for that person, but it was around that theme, if that makes sense. And so the next day that person literally contacted me and wanted to see me and we hadn't spoken for five years. So that's how powerful it is. Five years, no contact. You practice the law of assumption. I did this for like not even five minutes. I'm not kidding you guys. A few minutes, next day I get a text message. So, and a call. So that's how powerful it is. Same thing is like I needed new shoes the other day. Like not needed, but like wanted a certain type of shoes. They were brown, they were like summer sandals. And yesterday I go, that was like last week that I had that thought that I desired these shoes. And yesterday I went to see my mom and she's like, oh, I have these shoes. Like, I don't want them anymore. Can you, can, do you want them? And they're literally, it makes me laugh because they're literally exactly the shoes that I wanted to buy and that I was trying to find. Those exact shoes. So that's one example. Another example is that I needed new bed sheets and Obviously, like I was gonna buy new bed sheets, they're just bed sheets. But same thing, I go see my mom and she's like, I have these bed sheets, they're not fitting on my bed. Do you want them? And they're brand new bed sheets. So it's just things like that. I will think of something, I won't even like intentionally put the desire out there that I want to manifest, but it's like, I need this, I want this. And then the next day or a few days after it shows up into in my reality. And that's because I've trained my mind so much. I, this is the level that you will get to when you practice, right? There's levels to this. And this also depends on your beliefs. The more you manifest things, the more easier it gets because you have built up this confidence because you know that it works. And one thing I wanted to share with you guys is that the only time it has not worked for me is when I wanted something and this sounds cruel, but it's when I wanted something really, 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 really bad. Like that's when things don't manifest because we put... All right, my camera died, no more batteries. I'm just gonna end the video here. What I was saying is the only time when we have like resistance and when things don't really like manifest the way they're supposed to is when we want it so bad. Like we put up so much energy and effort in it that, that it's too much like it creates tension in the unseen realm so you don't want to do that you don't you even want to like not try to not care too much i know it's hard when we have a big heart i've been there but try to like let go i have a video on my channel i'll try to link it somewhere here on non-attachment and letting go and yeah to recap is stop consuming all the content and start doing start being what you want to be now already you know how this works start practicing it and do it while you're driving the car do it while you're doing the dishes do it while you're cleaning your house while you're in the shower 
to start assuming things in your most daily day-to-day activities whenever you have a break from work whenever you're not really focused on one specific task driving like simple tasks like driving or household chores it's really easy to focus your mind and to train your mind even while you're working out really try to test that and let me know in the comments how it works for you i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video